Sophia here from my great challenge.blogspot.com. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing a what's in my bag video. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I got this bag on super sale at Vera Bradley. This is a mail bag crossbody and absolutely fell in love with it. All of my Vera Bradley purses or bags are regular um, over the shoulder or satchel type bags and I do have one hipster that's a little bit smaller well much much smaller than this that's a crossbody as well and I really like it so I wanted to get something a little bit bigger because I do have to carry a lot of stuff with me I love big bags I like to carry a lot of stuff in my bags and my purses however if it's not a crossbody, it becomes very difficult for me to carry it and I get tired. My shoulders get hurt and they're not very, very safe when they are not crossbody. A crossbody will allow you to carry this close to your body, obviously, and you can either flip it this way with your hip right here so that pretty much nobody can access your purse. So they are great for vacation. Uh, if you are a tourist somewhere, um, either here in the US or anywhere in the world, this one, again, is called the Vera Bradley crossbody mail bag and the color is pink swirl so it has this paisley pattern in hot pink green there's some purple in there all of my favorite colors and the inside color is this a pattern here that I would not know how to describe um, but it's still in pink and green so it's very very pretty so let me give you a quick tour of the purse so first of all it has those, uh, what I call a souffle, because I don't know what you call it here in the US. So it allows for the purse to either stay thin or to get bigger and allow you to bring more stuff in it. Of course, the strap itself is adjustable. It's got the Vera Bradley um, engraving on the buckles. You can wash it. This, unfortunately, like all Vera Bradley since the last probably eight years or maybe less is made in China they used to be made in the US of course we're losing all our businesses here however it's still very well made you see there's a piping there the stitching is just beautiful there's absolutely no mistake on it it's well made it's sturdy this is a non-structured bag so you will not have a uh, reinforcement at the bottom no feet nothing but still washable you can either wipe it or or sometimes, even though they have those buckles, this is my little Hello Kitty, um, even though they have those buckles, you can still put them in the wash on, uh, I usually put them in cold water as a really, really quick wash and let them hang dry, no machine dry, just hang dry in the sun and they work perfectly. So what do I have in there? Let's open it. So first of all, you have this big flap here that has two pockets and then there is one more here which i call the safety pocket that has a zip with the vera bradley uh, ribbon and this is where i would put my wallet and other things so if you want to put your phone somewhere i place it here because that's quick access for me so that's the first thing i'm pulling out of the bag is my phone this is a galaxy note s4 i've had it for quite some time now i'm pull that the uh, um, pin so I can show you what it looks like I like this phone my husband has an iPhone I hate the iPhones um, so I'm an Android person I've always been but the reason why I like this one is because it's large phones if they're small I drop them and they break this one I purchased a special case for it with a flap just to protect the screen and also for some privacy and it has the uh, um, reinforced corners this one has a what you call it a stylus that goes with it i love this phone it's got great pictures all of the pictures that i take and that you see on my facebook page are from this phone i no longer use my canon digital camera um, the pixel is exactly the same this is a 13 megapixel and it's just more practical for me to do that because i can just send that directly to my um, cloud my OneDrive from Microsoft and or you can do Dropbox whatever so anyway the first thing is my phone gonna put that aside don't have anything else in this pocket but you can probably put your keys or whatever else it's uh, pretty deep I'd say it's about uh, a good 10 inch so again it has uh, a little bit extra fabric here on the side so it allows you to put something a little bit more bulky the second pocket this is the one that's right underneath the flap in this pocket i keep my keys right here 
So this is what we call a jailer's uh, key ring. For those of you who know or may not know, um, I used to work in corrections, um, not as a correction officer, but in the treatment department and uh, psychology department, things like this, drug substance abuse. So I like these keys because they allow me um, I can't do it with one hand, but I can carry them on my uh, wrist if I wanted to. And what do I have here? I just have my car keys. When I get into my car, I unclip the key and just use that and leave the keys in my purse. And there's a reason why I'm doing this is because this is just too heavy to have dangling like this from the uh, uh, ignition. It's, um, it's not a good thing to do. So I have the house keys. I have one of those little uh, thing here to put the key in the uh, um, keyhole when it's dark outside and I have another ring with all of my um, discount cards and fidelity cards loyalty cards whatever you call them from the various stores in my area so these are my keys the next thing is my planner and I'm taking advantage of doing this video to let you know I'm probably going to do another video on the planner because that switch this is a Franklin Covey in compact size it's a zip it's not leather this was a gift to me from Tracy hi Tracy um, and she just sent it to me because I, I was looking for something and with big rings she wasn't using it this is my planner I'll do a video on it at a later time again I'm only using my left hand here so it's not that easy for me to open hold on here we go so my planner just a quick look um it's basically my monthly my uh daily stuff this is today i do all my finances on there um i take all my notes in there and i have a ongoing to-do list for the house I have some numbers that I keep in there and that's just about it. So here's my meal plan for the month. That pretty much um, gives me a guideline based on what we have. Things like this. So that is always with me because I like to take notes on the go. Phone numbers are in there, things like this. So that's the planner and that is it for this pocket. Now for the uh, other pocket, the one with the zip, which I call the safety pocket. It comes with two more of those little pockets here where you can put your cell phone things like this I don't use those because usually I have and you can tell a lot of things in there and it's bulky so you can't really get your stuff all the way down like if I was to try to put my phone in there I wouldn't be able to get it all the way down and then it becomes difficult to pull it out so that's the reason why I keep my phone in this pocket instead that way I can hear it and grab it right away so in here I have two pouches and I have my wallet because I can't I don't want to keep my wallet in the front pocket where the flap is because it's just too easy to grab if I keep it in here with this zipper closed then it's gonna become a little bit more difficult for anyone to try to pickpocket me so here we go the wallet this is a Filofax pocket Malden in purple I'll do a video on that as well um, shortly uh, because I said I was gonna do it and I haven't had a chance to do it so I just keep I'm not gonna show you my cards but basically I keep um, the ID cards and social security card things like this um, you know coins right now I don't have any cash but the cash goes in there so that is where my card I have medical cards in there I have my monthly calendar for quick appointments and then the rest is notes and what I do is I just clip where I'm at now and that's my ongoing grocery shopping list and then in the back here um, I have more numbers um, in case I lose my phone and I need to make a phone call I have the numbers in there most of us do not know our best friends our husbands or any other phone number because we are stored everything in our cell phone and if we lose the cell phone or the cell phone no longer works we pretty much are doomed so I have a repeat of all of my contacts in there well at least the important ones like doctors things like this so I'll do a video on this particular wallet at a little time so that's that the next thing I have two pouches this one and these are pouches I get from my uh, Ipsy Glam bag I keep on saying that I use them for organizational purposes and that's exactly what I'm doing in this one here this is makeup and cosmetic items so I'm just gonna dump everything out and this is what I'm currently keeping which is basically the essential if I need to just do a little perk me up on my face throughout the day I have two of those little um, hair clips 
I cut my hair so I no longer need hair ties. So I just have those two clips here. I have my Yves Rocher um, powder right here and a brush. I should have one of those retractable brush. I had one, can't find it anymore. So this is just to powder my nose real quick. To go with that, I have a Palladio um, matte blush just to give my cheeks a little bit of a pinky hue throughout the day. This one is really pretty actually, I like it. And the color is Bayberry, so that's it right there. So again, powder, blush, lipstick. I just like tinted lip balm. This is a NYX lip butter lip balm. Uh, this one is in parfait color. I think I reviewed it. Um, in one of my swatches and stuff videos. Really like this. It doesn't take a lot of room and it just gives me the perfect little shade throughout the day. I do have one of the uh, EOS, um, this is the coconut one, I believe, um, lip balm. I really like this one. It's huge. That's the only problem with it, but I love this one. I've tried all of them. This is my favorite. You can't miss it. It's got the white and the pink swirls. I think it's coconut and I can't, doesn't have a label, I can tell you. But I'm pretty sure it's coconut vanilla or something like that. I have the, something else that I got from an Ipsy Glam bag, a Hickory um, eyeliner. And I keep this because I found that there's no reason for me to carry a mascara or eyeshadows or anything. I can pretty much do an eye makeup with this, smudge it a little bit or kind of like revitalize my eyes a little bit throughout the day. So I just keep this, it's slick and that's all I need. And this one I believe is in uh, dark gray. I uh, have a hand cream. This one is Deep Steep Hand Cream. Uh, shea butter and the scent is I believe passion fruit and guava. I love this. I'm almost on empty So I better uh, get going and replace this my little um, Cuticle cream. I've talked about that one too. This is Kiki Cuticle rejuvenator. You can actually use it as well as a lip balm, but I like it better as a Cuticle cream so I apply throughout the day and then I just carry a little bit of a sample of perfume. This is L'Odyssey Floral. I actually like it. This isn't my regular perfume, but it comes in a tiny little spray bottle and I keep it in the box. So that's all I'm keeping for cosmetics. It's really the bare, bare minimum. And I'm sure I could probably um, do away with these two here and just carry that or even, you know, just carry that. But I like to have my powder because I do have combination skin so I'm always shiny here and there and you know need to reapply throughout the day a little bit of powder just you know to look a little bit better I guess and then the last pouch is this one that's another Ipsy Glam bag pouch I really really like this one it's a little bit of odds and ends in this one but it's mostly pens and my inhaler so I'm just gonna open it for you so what do I have here I have a little bit of a pharmacy I have two band-aids because uh, I have kids and there's always a need for a band-aid um, matter of fact, this one I've used apparently. See, I didn't even go over my bag <laughs> before I did this video. So I gotta replace it. So I have one Band-Aid now and I have an Alka-Seltzer, that's for me. Um, and I don't use it for uh, stomach aches or anything like this. I actually use it for headaches. So Alka-Seltzer. And I have some gel pens. Um, I don't even remember where I bought this. I think it was Walgreens, something like this. So that's a metallic pink and purple. I have a highlighter. Always keep one on hand. I have two pens. These are clickers because you don't want ink uh, anywhere. And you always need a pen. Um, wherever you go, you always need at least one or two pens. So I got that. This is a nail file. I probably could find something smaller than this, but I like this one because it's metal. The paper ones, they tend to get uh, damaged in purses. So this one, at least I know, is not going to get damaged. And I can also use it, believe it or not, as a screwdriver. So that's a practical thing to have. And the last thing is my inhaler because I have COPD. And um, though, though I've never had a asthma attack on the go, I'm keeping it just in case because I don't want to be caught having an asthma attack with that inhaler that would be really really not cool for me so that's pretty much the content of my bag now I gotta put everything back together now the purse itself comes with um, another pocket another zip pocket all the way in the back um, I could keep my wallet in there and keep this towards my hips I probably would do that if I was going to an area that is kind of like so-so and 
I'm not sure it's all that safe, but I don't actually do anything with this. Um, sometimes I put receipts in it, things like this, but for the most part, this pocket stays empty because it's just bring box. So I'm just going to put back everything in so you can see how, how much you can put in there. So we have um, the makeup pouch goes in. Right in front of it is my pencil case. Put my wallet back in. And then in the front, I have my phone, keep my keys, and at the end, close my planner, but I'm still going to put it in there because it's pretty big, but it fits right here. So that's my purse, and it is magnetized right here, by the way, so it will, the flap will stay closed. So that's about it. That's what I carry in my purse. If I switch purse, I just empty it, put everything in the other purse, and that's uh, that. I don't have to try to figure out where to put things. The fact that I have um, those little pouches to carry my necessities is really helpful to me, because if I switch purses, I just grab those little pouches and transfer them to the other purse. I don't have to struggle to figure out where I'm going to put what. It's just basically all organized for me and super, super functional. Really, really like this purse. Again, this is the Vera Bradley crossbody mail bag and it's always on sale. Um, I'll put the link down below if you're interested. And uh, that was it. That was the content of my purse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it if you really like it. Subscribe if you're new and I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye!